Waiting for the mail today, Olivia? I have a package for you. Send to Siberia, please. Sorry, Olivia. I can't accept any packages that may contain little brothers. Rule of life number 52. If your mom is having a baby and she asks you whether you want a brother or a sister, that does not mean you're really going to get the kind you ask for. Olivia, we need to discuss your actions today. First of all, it simply isn't practical to mail your brother to Siberia, sweetie. Let's look at the financial aspect. It's uh, $32 a pound times Ian's weight uh, comes to... Uh, let's see, uh, Look, $1,120 plus uh, insurance. Mm -hmm. That's uh, yeah, almost $1,500. Now, I know sometimes you're not thrilled with your little brother. William is my little brother. Ian is my little bother. Uh, nice, yeah, but nonetheless, he is part of your family, and family is very important. I don't think you'd really want him to be lost forever. Oops, look what I did. Help me clean this up, Olivia. <laughs> Would you mind taking the children to the grocery store and picking up a few things? I've typed up a list for you. Uh, this party I'm organizing is taking forever to come together. Don't forget anything. <laughs> no, not you, Elise. I was talking to my husband. Now, what sort of cake were you thinking about? Chocolate? No, darling. I'm talking to Elise. <laughs> I saved Ian. He's going to be eternally grateful to me. Thanks a lot, Olivia. You're very welcome. Were you scared? No, I wasn't scared. And if I had been lost for five more minutes, the manager was going to give me a whole box of chocolate bars. <sighs> Huh? Oh, you're right. I don't understand how you could have forgotten one of the children. Uh, next time maybe you should write their names on the list of things to bring home from the store. <laughs> anyway, the good thing is Olivia is the one who told me I had forgotten them. I think she's over being jealous. I'm really proud of you for telling Father that Ian was missing. Thank you. And are you proud of me for helping carry in the groceries? Yes. And are you proud of me for protecting William from the rolling watermelons? The rolling... Never mind. And are you proud of me for being smart and funny and fashionable? Olivia, sometimes you really wear me out. But I love you anyway. I love you anyway, too. Guess what? I decided to take up the violin. Well, that's really wonderful. And then all the other instruments in the orchestra. And after that, I'm going to learn to be a conductor. Today, Miss Porcarin said I was playing louder than ever before. Good night, Olivia. <sighs> Good night.